these are scary times if you are a TikTok influencer uh, and one who makes a lot of money being a TikTok influencer because, because you, you may have the rug pulled out from under you. Exactly. There are a lot of rumblings in D.C. about a possible ban. And in fact, uh, there was new legislation introduced this week that would make it easier for, if he wants to at some point in the near future, uh, make it easier for the president to ban uh, TikTok or any technology that's based in a foreign country. I got to say, the spy balloon did not help things. Yeah, <laughs> definitely did, did not help not. things. Uh, so one of the senators who introduced that legislation uh, is Senator Mark Warner from Virginia. We got him out in D.C. and asked him, did he have any advice for TikTok influencers who really do, some of them make a living this way and others just really enjoy using the app. Uh, what would he say to them? And it's not really, not gonna make you feel any better. My hope is that users of TikTok, if they realize where their data is ending up, or they realize that this can be used as a propaganda tool for the Communist Party, that they'll realize national security. There's a great a lot of things happening on TikTok. But there is a, but people who don't acknowledge that national security concerns coming from technology out of China, or Russia, or Iran, or North Korea, um, you know, our job is to protect national security. But I think there will be other alternatives, and I welcome that. Yeah, I got to say, what he's saying We're putting is national security first. Yeah, right? national security comes first. Sorry, you can find another platform. Mark Warner here. He's a Democrat from Virginia, but we should also say that this is very much a bipartisan idea. The idea of banning TikTok was actually introduced under the Trump administration. And the fact is, is that data right now is more valuable than oil, some would say. So there's really no telling what China could do with this type of information. And in regards to big influencers on TikTok, like Charlie D'Amelio, Addison Rae, and others, they've already done a great job parlaying their following to other platforms like YouTube, Instagram. So say if TikTok were to fold, these people are going to be completely fine. By the way, I just want to say that the overarching issue here is privacy. And I am so convinced, and you know, this is something I've just been really reading about and studying for years now. We are losing privacy in this country, and it, part of it is technology, yeah. but it's almost like a dam where there are holes in the dam. You try to plug one and another springs up. I mean, we talked about AI yesterday, where right. people can take your, your, your identity, voice and, your yeah. voice, and everywhere you look, privacy is just falling by the wayside. And I'm not saying, oh, keep TikTok because privacy is going right, anyway, right, right. but it's emblematic of a much bigger issue, which is, I think in 10 years, the word privacy is going to just be out the window. We should, I really do. We should say, by the way, on for TikTok's part, uh, the company says that it has never uh, even been asked by the uh, Communist Party in China for any data. That's what they're saying. That's what they say. I guess, right. We, to mean, that, you would say, well, of the, course they're going to say that. Of course. It is the Communist Party ruling, like, with an iron fist. Right. So can you imagine the, these guys say, oh, we're not going to give it. We're just, sorry, we're not going to give it to you. Uh, they don't say that. I was just giving them their legal. Yeah, that, that doesn't legal happen in, in communist China. My name is Colin. I'm from Philadelphia. And I have to say, I agree with the senator. I think it's much more important to prioritize safety and national security over the job security of influencers who peddle detox tea and supernova uh, leggings. It's Fashion Nova, sir, not Supernova. <laughs> you know what, though? It is, a, listen, the, it is a career. Um, yeah. But I agree with you. I mean, they will find other platforms. There, exactly. And by the way, TikTok, if, they, if push comes to shove and the United States bans it, I wouldn't be surprised if an American company makes a play to buy TikTok. From, the, from whoever owns it. There was it there. talk of that. There was talk that Oracle was But gonna, if it but, happens, yeah. if they ban it, I think that's a real likely scenario.